Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine, and I'm here with another Tuesday tip video tutorial. For my project today, I am making this card here, and it features the Sea of Texture stamp set from the 2018 2019 annual catalog. And for my video today, I want to show you easy ways to add texture to your cards. So let's get this out of the way and start stamping. So the colors for my card I picked from the Designer Series paper. It's the Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper. So it's just a three um, inch square piece and it's got Whisper White, Night of Navy, and Mint Macaron. So that's how I kind of started with my color scheme. And the, the piece of paper, Designer Series paper, has the texture in it this, itself. So that's the one texture tip for this video. This paper is also part of a sale going on right now for the month of July 2018. If you buy three packs of paper, you can get one free. And you can head over to my online store at christinestamps.stampinup.net to check out that sale. There's ten papers in the sale. So let's start by I'm just gonna have to improvise here because I forgot to get scrap paper. So I am gonna stamp on my stitched oval. I cut that out with my Big Shot. I'm gonna use the Tranquil Tide ink for the netting stamp. And I'm gonna stamp off twice. That's why I brought over the back of this. I want a light texture background with the netting. So, I just use that as my scrap paper. So there's my netting. And then I'm going to stamp over it with the Adventure stamp in Night of Navy. So this would be a great card for a graduation, a retirement, somebody who's going on a trip, you want to wish them a happy adventure on their trip. So it's a very versatile card. So there is my sentiment layer. And now pretty much it's just adhering all my layers. So there are quite a few layers. I have two pieces of Night of Navy cardstock. One measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Then this one is three and one eighth inch square. I have my mint macaron card base. I have a small starfish. And this actually came out of the set, um, the same framelit set that this little netting piece comes out of that coordinates with the stamp sets, the under the sea framelits. This is in the sand dollar um, die cut, so this is the middle of a sand dollar. So this actually came from another project I made. I just saved all the middles, knowing that I would use them on other projects. So this is the netting from the framelits, and then I just have a four inch piece of the Knight of Navy Baker's twine that coordinates with this suite of products. So what I want to do is I have this cute netting, but it looks really great when you crumple it up. So that's another way to add some interesting texture to your projects. And then you kind of uncrumple it, and there we go. So what I did with this, I kind of picked, there's a diamond area down here at the bottom, and I put the twine through two holes, one there, I'm going to thread it up through this other one next to it, I hope. Let's add a little DNA on there to try to get it through. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just tie it in two knots. So there's my first one. And this is going to create another textural 
element for my card. And then what I did is I just took the strands and kind of untwined them. Uncurled them. Kind of looks almost like a perm. So we're giving our twine a little perm here. But it's just another fun way to use Baker's twine. So there's that. And now I'm pretty much ready to adhere all my layers together. So I'm going to use three different adhesives. So actually, let's do the white first onto the blue. So yes, I did stamp on the back, but only people watching this video know. So the person who's going to get this card doesn't know I did that. And when you don't have scrap paper and you're on camera, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Now I'm just going to go right to the card base. Trying to make sure there's even amount all around the card. With these layers, I went off center. So, so I have my Knight of Navy piece adhered here, and now I'm going to put my designer paper kind of across, kind of making a whimsical look. So I'm going to add that on with a little bit of snail adhesive. Then for the little netting piece, I'm going to add on with a couple of glue dots in the middle. I'm just going to strategically place them in the middle because then I'm going to cover them up with the sentiment piece. And then for the sentiment, I'll put three dimensionals. And then I'm ready to just add this little starfish piece with a little bit of liquid glue. And that's my card for today. So I wanted to show you different ways to add texture to your projects. I hope you'll give one of these different elements a try. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you leave me a comment on my blog, Facebook, or YouTube, you will have a chance to win this card in the mail from me as a thank you for tuning in. Please comment by Monday, July 9th, and I'll be picking a winner on July 10th when I record my next video. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll be back next week with another project to share.